Okay, so it is Sunday, it is 10 a.m. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Just before we get into this video, today's my 21st birthday. So, you know, uh, it is my birthday. The only thing I want as a birthday present for you guys is for you to leave a like on this video. If you would leave a like on this video right now, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'd be an amazing birthday present to me, and it'd mean the world. So I'd appreciate it. Um, but without further ado, I mean, we're jumping straight into the I Rate Your Teams video today. Um, and we're going to start off with Eli Schmidt's team. Now, he has got uh, the icons and Hazard are untradeable. All bench and reserves are untradeable too. Got no coins, but who should I go for next? Thinking Inform De Jong, then 88 Zanetti. Okay, so you're kind of looking who who should be next on the ladder, I guess. Um, well, first of all, I like what you do in the UCL cards. Um, hopefully, Madrid go far. You get a couple upgrades on that Eder Militao. Same with uh, with Barcelona and that Dembele. Um, what would I do going forward? I would probably look to... I don't know if I'd upgrade De Jong or if I go down the left route and upgrade Vass. Uh, I think that you could probably get a better icon over there if you're really looking, you know, far into the future. Um, and then I don't know about 88 Zanetti at right back. I really like Nelson Semedo, you know, four star skills, fast. He's got decent strength in game, uh, good stamina. I would personally look definitely at the midfield uh, and then uh, eventually uh, up front, I would probably uh, eventually, this is long down the line, get like a Messi or something up top. Um, but I actually like the team. I like what you're doing with it as well. And uh, you've got some really good subs to bring on. Not entirely sure if it's worth having De Gea on the bench. Uh, if I were you, I'd probably bring on, uh, put Corona on the bench instead or, or Decore or Munayin or someone like that. Um, goalies don't get red cards. Goalies don't get injured in this game. There's no point really having De Gea on the bench. It's just a wasted slot in my opinion. Um, Next team coming from Greg Thompson. Got 100,000 coins. Use the same formation in game. Vardy and Guardiola are untradeable. Any improvements? Keep up the great videos. Thank you very much, Greg. Appreciate that. So, got 100,000 coins. Using the same formation in game. Vardy and Guardiola are the only untradeables. Okay. Uh, how many coins do you say you got? 100k. All right. What would I do with 100,000 coins to this team? Good question. You've got some really good OP players in the right positions. I would personally look to possibly upgrade Zaha to uh, an Ericsson probably. Um, I feel like you've got really good players on the left and right in, in Rashford and and uh, Lucas Moura, but I feel like what you're lacking is probably a little bit of creativity in terms of passing and better dribbling, and I think that you'd probably get that from Ericsson as opposed to Wilfred Zaha. Um, you know, you want someone that's going to play really good through balls or over-the-top balls, things like that. Ericsson's your man for that. Just don't think that Zaha is your man for that. So that's personally what I would change in this team. Uh, aside from that, I like I like the setup. Uh, let me know how uh, how you play with um, with Rashford and, and Lucas out wide. Um, you know they're both good players, they're both fast and stuff like that. But I've never actually used them out wide. I only really use them both as as strikers. So uh, I'd love to hear that. Uh, anyway, next team comes from Maltha. Uh, he's got fifty thousand coins for upgrades. Lucas and Longley are the untradeable. The rest is tradable. Okay, Lucas and Longley are the only untradables. Well, how many coins you got? Fifty thousand coins to upgrade. Uh, you guys are sending me some really almost fully complete teams. I think what I would do an upgrade here, I would get rid of Fernandinho and bring in Fabinho. Um, and that's the only upgrade I'd make to your team currently. I don't think that you've really got any other upgrades to make. And probably swap Gabriel Jesus and Lucas. Uh, I think that Lucas is a better cam. Gabriel Jesus is a better striker. Aside from that, I think your team is, is a really solid team for weekend league. Um, the next one's from Sheesh and Haber Fanboy. Let's go. Uh, appreciate that. He's got, love your vids, man. Uh, thank you very much. You'd appreciate that. 30,000 coins to improve the team with. Uh, I don't mind selling players. Vardy's the only untradeable. Okay. All right. Um, what a change in this team. I would replace Rudiger with Schuler. Nico Schuler is incredible this year. I love him. I think he's great. Uh, so I'd replace uh, Rudiger with Schuler. Uh, what else would I do with this team? I would probably then work on i'd probably bring in klosterman at right back over in babu unless you're going to work towards getting that new in babu i think that klosterman's probably a little bit better than normal in babu um and then you're just working on upgrading players in the middle and stuff like that really uh i don't think you got the toy the, the coins to upgrade your midfield yet or your or your left side or right side apart from the players i've highlighted um but no it's a nice team and you got the foundations of a really solid team to be honest uh the next team coming from dab dab says 150k to spend PK, De Gea, Vardy, and Ozil are the untradables. I use the same formation in game. By the way, you got Ramos instead of Longley. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so you got Ramos over here instead of Longley. And you've got 150k, PK, De Gea, Vardy, Ozil are the only untradables. All right, okay. Uh, what would I change in this team? That's a good question. 
I would get rid of Urzel straight away. I don't think Urzel will be amazing. I think I would personally use... Um, I mean, I would put Lucas over on the left to get the link to Felipe Anderson. And then I'd probably use like uh, Lacazette over Urzel, to be honest, at Cam. And then you've got the link over there. Everyone gets full chemistry too. Um, and then I'd probably just wait for higher upgrades down the line, you know, um, getting like eventually you want to work to get to Stegen in there and then Varane instead of Ramos, in my opinion, uh, moving forward. But aside from that, though, I think you've got a very nice team. Um, and yeah, it's probably just the only changes I'd make to the team right now. Uh, aside from that, I think you've got a nice team. Uh, moving on, we've got Logan's team. He's got 100,000 coins. Everyone tradable except for Werner and Carlos. I have the Scream Cruz, not Goretzka. Okay, so he plays this in game. He's using Scream Cruz over Goretzka. Goretzka, sorry. Uh, he got 100,000 coins to improve the squad. What would I do with this team? Where are your weak links is what you've got to ask yourself. Um... Like, I don't, I don't see a weak link that you can improve with 100k. A lot of you guys, I feel like, just want me to show your teams because you're proud of your, your like, end game team. or well, not end game team, but, like, your weekend league team. It's, like, polish and stuff like that. Teams like this with 100k, I don't see where you improve. I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment down below of your suggestion. I personally, like, I look at it and say the only upgrade you can do over here that gets full chemistry is instead of having Dembele, is going with Messi. You can't afford Messi. You can't afford the better version of Dembele. There's no one there. Like, you could say Nabry, but you're a liar if you think that Nabry's better than uh, Dembele this year. I'm sorry, but you're just straight up lying if you think that. You're just doing that literally to find something to, to comment. <laughs> um, over here, Sane... Find me a better left mid that's going to get full chemistry there. I mean, there's some good left mids in the Bundesliga, but there's no one better than Sane. Sane is incredible this year. Um, Vern is incredible. Delaney and Goretzka or Delaney and Cruz are very good. Um, uh, you know, you, Royce is incredible this year. There's no one really in the positions that are better. With 100k, I just don't think that there's any any room for improvement in this squad yet. So I'll just save you coins, to be honest. Or do some SPCs if you want to just have some fun. Uh, the next one is from Harvey. He's got 60,000 coins. He could do some of this batch of icon swaps. Only Nesta, Neres, and Zaha are untradeable. Keep up the good work. Okay, so if you already done Nesta, uh, you've probably got, what, like eight tokens available? No, wait. Nesta is eight, isn't he? You've got 14 tokens available here. Um, you've got a good amount of tokens here, actually, available. What would I do with this team? I would personally replace De Gea with Courtois. Is, is De Gea untradeable? No, he's not. Okay, so I'd sell De Gea and get Courtois. I guess Ramos on chemistry as well. Uh, actually, no. Scrap that. Just swap swap Nestor and Ramos. Get Ramos on full chem. Um, all right, so you still got 60k. What to do? I would then... Wait for it. This is, this is going to shock you guys. You're going to be very, very surprised here about what I would do. I would not replace Marcelo with Ferland Mendy. Because of the chemistry. I'd actually get... Uh, oh, if you swap in Ramos, then it kind of you kind of need him there, actually. I was going to say I'd get that new Vendel card, but you actually, you, you're actually going to swap Ramos over. Uh, what you could do, to be fair, um, is... I mean, I was going to say you could probably work on getting a better right side, but Dembele is good enough, and so is Nelson Semenya. They're both good players. I, I would literally probably just work on... If you're going to do any icon swap with 14 tokens, uh, I would probably do Guardiola. And then you can get the link with Ramos and you can swap over the left side and, and do some cool stuff there. Um, and he's, he's pretty easy to get. He's only eight tokens. So that's probably what I would do. Uh, but I think you've got a really solid setup here. Uh, how is Firmino in midfield? Because he actually looks like a good midfielder. I'm interested in hearing about that. Aside from that, it's a nice team. Uh, moving on now, we've got Owen Gooding's team. He's got 100,000 coins. Mbappe, Komen, Dembele and Alaba are tradable. Okay, the rest are untradable. All right. Okay, I like that Roy Keane from Icon Swaps. That is cool. Uh, not a lot of people would have gone with Roy Keane, so I, I, I like that. He's like closer and tradable as well. He said Mbappe, Komen, Dembele, and Alaba are tradable. So I'm guessing you've got untradable closer. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, what would I do with this team? How many coins do you say you had again? Uh, you've got 100k. I'd swap Carver Hal. I'd get uh, Usmane Demp. No, Usmane. I'd get Nelson Semedo at right back instead of Carver Hal. Um, what else would I do with this team? I would probably keep it the way it is after getting. Uh, after getting Nelson Semedo, yeah, I'd probably keep it the way it is. And then possibly work towards getting in um, the new UCL uh, bail, unless that Dembele is untradeable. Oh, he is tradable. So I'd probably work on getting the new... Actually, no, I, you know, I'd work towards getting Messi in there instead. How much is Usmane? I think Usmane is still quite expensive. Um, how much is this, this card going for? So it's 835k. You've got 100k already. That gives you 935k. Messi is what? 1.3? I would save up until you have about 500k and then replace Usmane with Messi. That's what I would do with this team. 
Um, and I'd just obviously get Nelson Tomato over Carvajal. Next team is from Z0 Flow. He's got to Corey, Nesta, Tiago, and Endon Belia are tradable. 100,000 coins to spend. Love the bits. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so I'm guessing you, you... Oh, no, wait. You keep Alessandrini on the pitch. Really? Okay, well, you've got a bunch of subs you can bring on for him. I don't rate... I, I, in my opinion, I'm not a fan of, of playing players like Alessandrini. Okay, what I would do with this team straight away... Do, so... Your Ebra is tradable. How much can you get for that Ebra card? Um, this is Latan. How much can you get for this for this card? This card is 167k, and you've already got 100k, so it gives you 267,000 coins to work with. I would go with at right right wing over here. Uh, I would go for. I'd go for Sterling at right wing. Where are you going to be playing him? Right wing. Yeah, I go with Sterling. I would then a striker. Put your Vardy up there. So you still got 167k roughly. So 160k roughly. Um, I would then over here, instead of having Thiago as um, as a centre mid, because I don't think he'd be a great cam. I know he's got five star skills and good dribbling, but I don't think he's great moving forward. What I would go for instead here probably would be, uh, it's a weird one, but I'd probably go Thomas Muller. I think that Thomas Muller is a better moving forward player as opposed to um, as opposed to Thiago and play him cam. And he's also got a really good shot as Muller. I don't know if Muller... I think Muller's got a scream card. Has he not? Or is that last year? Uh, he does have a scream card. How much is this card? 200k. If you can save towards getting this uh, ultimate scream Muller, he's got very good stats at cam. I'd probably work with that, to be honest. Or even just going with like a Theo Walcott right wing. Uh, putting your Vardy there and then just getting Muller and then saving up for Sterling or something like that. I'd probably work with that instead. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think your team is, is nice and balanced, to be fair. It's well-rounded. Uh, I like your midfield as well. Decore and Endo Bele is nice. Uh, moving on now is Kai. He says his second picture is what he plays in-game. 160,000 coins spare. Vardy, Ozil, Balak, Pizcek and Foster are untradeable. On the bench, Puki, Umtiti and Martial are also untradeable. Excuse me. Uh, love your vids. Keep it up. Okay. You've got like, a nice, colourful squad here. Again, Ozil at left mid is a big no-no for me. Um... I would get Rashford over Ozil uh, and then play Rashford at left mid. What else would I do with this team? Uh, Pitchcheck at right mid is a bit of a letdown, but again, I think you're doing that for chemistry, so uh, there's no one else I'd really use there. Uh, what else would I do with your team? I would probably get rid of Aaron Cresswell and get Kieran Tierney. Big shock, I know. Whoa. Or maybe get Ben Mendy, actually. Ben Mendy's nice and bulky and fast, so I think he'd probably be a better centre-back as opposed to Tierney. Uh, aside from that, I think the team's nice. I'd probably uh, let me know how you're playing with a three-five-two, especially with this back line, because it's fast, but it's a little bit, I don't know, not great, in my opinion. I don't know, it's a weird one. Um there's Sheesh and Haber's fanboy. Uh this is his again. Um Jorgen's team now. Uh, he's got Endon Bele, Zanetti, and a whole bench untradeable. 470k for changes. What do you think? Okay, let's have a look. Uh I like the link with Messi and Zanetti, that's pretty cool. Uh, you're playing... Okay, I like the formation as well. I like what you're doing with it. Um, what would I change with this squad? You've got 400k. I would replace Endon Bele with Kante. Uh, and I would replace Dembele with Martial. I know that's a little bit of a weird one. Dem, don't get me wrong. Ismail Dembele is good. But a striker, no. Martial, way better of a striker. Especially on the right when he's left footed. I know he's got five star skill, uh, five star weak foot, but no, I'd go with Martial there. Much better of a striker. Aside from that, I think your team is really solid uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, moving on now, we have got uh, Louis' team. Uh, 500k to spend. Walker, Carlos, Gomez are untradeable. Op uh, open to changing in game formation. Okay. No, I think that you've got a good in game formation here, especially with what you're working with. It's a phenomenal team, actually. It's a really, really good team. You've got 500k to spend. Um. What would I do with 500k? So Eder Militao is tradable. I would sell Eder Militao and bring in Van Dijk. Van Dijk changed the game for me this year. He was a massive game changer in my defense. He was phenomenal. Loved Van Dijk this year. I'd probably sell your Eder Militao and I'd get Van Dijk instead. Uh, I just think that Van Dijk is way better. Uh, I know Eder Militao is probably really OP, but Van Dijk's unreal. Uh, and then up top, I think, uh, how much are you going to have left over? So Eder Militao is how much? I think this card's really expensive. 530k and Van Dijk is... Uh, so that's a million, so 500k. So you're still going to have about 500-ish k. 
for a better a better uh oops no i'm on the wrong squad here uh, a better cam than dembele that's french what to do here um doesn't have to be french could be young men no it doesn't get the chemistry does it no it does not um I mean, you could play Mbappe off chemistry and just go with Hyungmin Son up top. I mean, you have 500k for a better cam. You could go Hyungmin Son. You could go Lacazette. You could go Griezmann. You could go an icon for 500k. Uh, Baby Nakata is great. Uh, I would potentially look towards getting Hyungmin Son off chemistry and then, and then working from that, to be honest. Uh, really, really good squad, Louis, though. Really good squad. Next one's from Andy Barnett. I uh, didn't even read his comment because I'm silly. Uh, it says, only Neuer, Guerrero, and the fullbacks are tradable. 350k to spend. Play 4 2 one in game. Love the vid. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate that, man. Um, so, Florenzi, Nico Schultz, Neuer, and Guerrero are tradable. Is that Guerrero? Is that a CDM? Let me have a look at this card. I just spelled it wrong, didn't I? How do I spell this? Is it Guerrero? Guerrero? I don't know how to spell this. How do I... How did he spell it? Oh, it's G-U-E. Okay. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. There, that makes sense. Uh, still can't find the card. There it is. Uh, let's have a look at this. 68 defending. What's his defending stats? Not, not that great, if you ask me. I mean, they're not bad, but I wouldn't use this card as a CDM. I would personally, with this squad, sell Guerrero. How many coins you already got? You've already got 350k. Sell Guerrero. Uh, get rid of Urzel, put him down here on the bench. Bring in, I don't know if Kante's risen a lot in price. Not the UCL live one, obviously. Uh, 385, and you've got 350. How much is that Guerrero card? Can you get there? 42. No, you can't. I'd probably then bring in, uh, um, hmm. it does set the whole team sort of off cam, doesn't it? If you to do that, you need to rework a little bit. Uh, where are you playing? Okay, so you play in Zaha. Okay. Um, it's a tough one, man. It is a tough one. I mean, you could go, you could go, uh, what would I do? What would I do? To what? I think you need a better CDM, to be honest. I think you need, you could play Vitzel over here off chem at centre mid on seven. You could play Vitzel. I think that's the best option until you can afford to, Get rid of a... I mean, you could get rid of a Bamiyan, couldn't you? No, he's untradeable. I think you save your coins. Get Vitzel over here as a centre mid at CDM. Save your coins until you can get rid of a Bamiyan and you can bring in, a, a, like, a Hyung Min Son over here for for Urzil and then a Shizoko for a Bamiyan. And then I'd work with that, to be honest. Um, and then you can bring in a better left mid over here that's German. Maybe go with, like, a Sane or something. Um, but yeah, I just don't know about him at CDM, to be honest. Let me know how you find him at CDM. I just personally don't think he'd be great. Uh, next one is from uh, Delaney. Uh, it says, have around 80k. Hazard, Alan, Semedo, Gerard, Politano at the bench at the last picture are untradeable. Thanks in advance. Love your vids. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So, okay. You have a lot of untradeables. Hazard, Alan, Semedo, Politano and the bench are untradeable. Okay. Oh, and Gerard as well. What to do with this team? You've got six, You've got 80k. You've got a really, really good strike force, good cams, good CDMs, good backline. What would I change? Honestly, not a lot. I wouldn't change anything, really. I'd probably just work on getting the better version of Allen, better version of Insigne, better version of Mertens, better version of everyone, really. That's what I'd work towards. Um, I think you've got a really solid team. I love your team name as well. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what I'd change, to be honest. I'd probably just work towards getting the better version of your players. I don't think I'd do anything other than that. Uh, the next one's from Anonymous. I've got 100,000 coins looking for improvements. 4 2 3 1 in game. Was thinking about replacing Lacazette instead of End on Bele. Uh, Vardy and Robertson are untradeable. Thanks. No worries. Okay, so you're thinking about getting Lacazette instead of End on Bele. Wait, you want Lacazette as CDM as opposed to End on Bele? Mm, don't know about that. I'd get Sizoko over End on Bele, to be honest. Get Sizoko instead of End on Bele. Better CDM all round. Um, what else would I do? And then I'd probably work towards eventually getting a, like an Abamyang up top, someone like that. Uh, aside from that, I think you've got a really OP backline. 
Um, and I like you on Untradeable Robertson. Let me know how he is, actually. I'd love to know how that Robertson is. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Like I said, it'd be a great birthday present. If we can get like two, 3,000 likes on this video, that'd be a, an amazing birthday present. You guys seem to be loving these episodes. I'm just really overwhelmed with support, and I'm so grateful. I really am, so thank you all for that. Thank you all for, uh, for watching, and I'll see you lads later.